Yeah. Mostly. Um, what I what what I need what I what I want a threesome with my significant other. Would you want a threesome? Because the conversation comes up. You, you, no, nah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to. But now she wants a threesome. I'll bust her ass and the other girl's ass too. But it wouldn't be like because I wanted to initiate it. I'm thinking like a threesome. You know, like you know. I'm thinking like my my girl. That like that's 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 what, what do you call the word? That's um. That's 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 my sanct that's that's my sanctum. You know what I'm saying? Like my wife's supposed to be my sanctum. Like I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to corrupt her like that. I wouldn't want to corrupt yeah, my relationship I'm, like that. But like I said, some girls, it's not that they're not satisfied, but they're curious. You know, they might want to be, they might be bi curious, but they don't want to go into that by themselves. They want their man to be there with them. Yeah. To 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 to, 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 to yeah. <laughs> Sorry, won't be fully gay. I went um, gay, but I only went 75 gay, 75 yeah. gay. Yeah, I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to into that. But I, I mean, if my girl wanted to, it's, it's, it is. It is a, a gray area, right? Yeah. I, I mean, what do you think? What are the worst things that could come out of um, having a threesome? You think? Your girl get turned the fuck out and leave you, yeah. <laughs> leave you for some fucking box, like you, you think, know what I mean? You, you, yeah, yeah that's that should happen. That has happened in, that in has life, in, in lifetime of life. Yeah, mm. a girl get turned out by another girl, and this is like, I don't want, I don't want you anymore. Mm-hmm. That could happen. That can happen. It could happen. You playing around. But then again, see, a girl's fear is you having a threesome, and you start feeling the other girl, like she looking from the corner of her eye, like you. Are enjoying that a yeah, little bit too much. You know, much. like all, like like girls say, all dick ain't created equal, and all box ain't created equal. I mean, it's I've true. I've had some box that. Don't change it to change. Yeah, give, give a man. blind person sight. Yo, I've had some, yo. They got there's some box out there, dude, that really do different things. Magical David Blaine. Yo, David you ever Blaine box. Like you ever seen like them girls that know how to do the kegels? And they, they fucking you and then they, they just grip your shit with oh, the, with they, the got, they got they got the the, the, they got the, the Hulk the, power. The pussy power again. Let's <laughs> uh, see me, ladies and gentlemen. But they you know what I mean? But they got the ability to to to, to, to rap. Tap, yeah. To, to tap into the next at, at any at any time. Super Saiyan box. You know what I mean? They got yes, yeah, and that is the I, first time that ever happened to me, son. That I was like like it felt like she grabbed my shoulder with her hand. <laughs> I was like, I like a around, hand was down there. Was I like, turned around like, like you know what I mean? That's and, funny. And then you got the splazashies, like the girls that just like that's that's. That go do whatever. Yeah, and, and then just you got take that, it to another, another level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your, your significant other's right there looking at yeah. you, looking at you, enjoying all that. And then you got that. She next realizing step. that she she was giving her hundred, and her hundred is really twenty five percent compared is to the other. Fall short to what Shorty over here is doing. She over there doing acrobatic moves. And you got the tights, you got the tighty tighties, the one that just felt like she, like she just got it off the, the uh, assembly line, you know. Then you got the splashy splashes, the one that this just. This guy got these splashy splashies, the tighty tighties. Yo, the splashy splashies is just like the ones that are just like just pure juicy. It's like. I mean, yo, I you come across the wrong box, like I don't. You, yeah, it could set, it could it set, set, set a chain reaction, a chain reaction. A set of events yeah, that yeah. your wife is not exactly. ready to deal with. Right. Yeah. Yeah. This is a dangerous. This is a, it's <laughs> yep. really a gray area. Right. You go in there with thinking like, oh, I'm going into this fun house. Yep. You come out the fun house thinking, what just happened to me? No. Oh, shit. Yeah. So if y'all got anything to say, the um the numbers three four seven. Tell your lady she go out and fuck some dude, and he got a baby arm and just ruin her. But when she come back, you don't even want her. Like, you don't want her, and she just want him. <laughs> yeah. Like yo, what did you do with my <laughs> what woman? Did you do to my box. <laughs> yo, like, yeah, what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> you know, uh, but. You know, you gotta, you really have to be careful when you, 
introduce. You gotta be like Gollum, my precious. Word. And just hold it mm. to yourself. Yeah, mm. man. Um, it is um, it is a it is a, a slippery slope if you go down that. Line. Yeah, you. Man. The phone lines are open three four seven eight five five three three zero eight. Call up if you got any anything to say on the topic. I mean, yes, I really do think that. Would you do a threesome and could you, ha- under what circumstances? That's what we're talking about. Yeah, so early in the show, I started out the show with um, this Davey song, and that sparked me to play nothing but storytelling songs. Because yeah. I feel like we lack that in the um, in the game today. A lot of the um, a lot of the rappers that are out there, they do not have any thought-provoking... Um, material. Material. Like, I mean, I, I really have... A thing where when I listen to music, I want to be, um, I, I wanted to th- provoke thought. You know, I want to I want to sit down there and be like, wow, did you hear what he just said? And yeah. then want me to go research it and see what he's talking about. You know, like it's it's always a dope feeling to to say, oh, I listened to a song mm-hmm. and I got wrapped up in it. Like you know, we were talking about how Biggie. Was like he he would always have us every time we heard a song. Yep. Like my top three Biggie songs is Warning, Somebody Got to Die, and Niggas Bleed. Yeah, he really showed his lyrical um, ability with those songs. Um, I just I, I think that uh, that as an artist he was what other artists aspire to be, especially in the art of storytelling. Ah, you didn't even play Slick Rick. Yeah, I, I saw that. I was gonna play it. Yeah. I mean, I could, I could, we could come back and play some stuff. But yeah, and um, we have um, like it's it's, it's December, like December, like New Year's is right. Yo, the year is the sad, but the year is over. 2016 is. This. And it just happened. It just happened. Can you believe it, yo? These years are getting either getting shorter, or we just not realizing that we're in a year, like yo. It's kind of crazy, right? Yeah, dude. Like a lot has happened to me this year. You know. I'm gonna say that. Yeah, a lot has happened. Yeah. A like, lot of positive things has happened. Positive, yeah. Negative and positives. Shout out to the shout out to shout out to to grown yeah. life. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like. Next year is gonna be a even. Next year is gonna be a, a, a growing process for me too because there are a lot of things that I'm. I got my eyes on now. There's a lot of things that I've realized that I should be trying to achieve. And you should attain by some yeah. time. Yeah. So I'm. Yo, trust me. Next year is the grind. Next year, that year is gonna be called the process. The process. It sounds like a damn movie that I want to see. 2017. The process. And the yes. trailer's coming. The trailer already. Came out right. Yo, yo, I'm telling you. You know what? I gotta. T- I, I I don't know how about how you gain rights from from stories and stuff like that to actually film it. But there's a story that I wanna I wanna see on, in film, and I think that it's similar to a guy having a gun and going against the cops. Remember the story of Larry David? Larry Davis. Da- Davis. Larry Davis. I think that that's a great story for us. To, for, for, for to see on film, I really want to see that acted out. Yeah, because that was that was the biggest man hunting in New York. Yeah, I remember. Yo, I remember that man. But you know what, Larry Davis was um that that was a that was a the reason that that story was so dope is because them pigs was out there playing around. You know what I'm saying? Them pigs was out there taking drug money and shit from him. Mm-hmm. He had a couple of motherfuckers on the payroll mm-hmm. and um. No, but the fact that they came into the house to get him, and he, and he took out a few of them, and he backed out and on he them, bounced, and they couldn't yeah. find him. Yeah, like that's the most gutter shit ever. <laughs> shit was so true. And bounced, he jumped out the building. Yeah, I remember that shit. Oh man, that's another. That was in man, it was in. Man, it was in the eighties, yo. It was in the Queens of Manhattan. It was in the Bronx. The Bronx. It was in the Bronx. Larry Davis, man. I remember yeah, that. That's, shit. I think that's a great story to, to actually bring. They to should play. make the. Well, they're not gonna make that a movie. Right. I think somebody of, of color who has a little bit of money can do an independent film. Should do that. You know. Yeah. Because it's a story where it was crooked cops, and he he was an informant. He was an informant, but then they turned on him. You know. So. Yeah. He was fucking the the. He was uh the, the what was that movie with um. 
Leonardo DiCaprio. Um, departed. The, he was the departed. He was literally the departed. He was a flipping FBI informant drug dealer. Yeah. I mean, police informant drug dealer. Yeah. That's crazy. All right, moving on. So, number the truth. Yeah. Shout out to everybody that got to tune in. Call up. The topic today is, could you handle a threesome? And if so, under what circumstances? I like to know people's point of view with this because I really do think that it's a gray area. People always say, oh, I want to have a threesome. And, you know, da, da. I think it, you got to do it with the... You gotta do it with the people that you're not really serious Yo, with. No, and yeah, shit, cause you you get te- you could get territorial. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, can you imagine a fight breaking out? You think a fight ever broke out during a threesome? Like, like uh, yo, why are you touching her like that? Yeah, like like <laughs> a mad like, cause men can only go but so long. So your lady is your lady and the other lady in there. Y'all doing it, and you you do you done. Maxed out. You done maxed out. You done maxed out the credit card. <laughs> and they sitting there still spinning. They said, oh. so they, they maxed out the credit card. You maxed out the credit card. Looking and they, for a new, sh- a, new, a new line of credit. You trying motherfuckers to get- is shopping, still shopping. And you just did watching. You just did watching like. <laughs> that, that's that, crazy. I mean, you know what I mean? That's crazy, man. It, it is crazy. And, and, that, and that's your lady? Like. Imagine, oh man, like it, it's levels to the shit. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> it is levels to the shit. You're right. You're right. It's just crazy to think about that, right? Where imagine she throwing a strap on and start wailing on your girl. Like you would fucking like you would your feel. Man, oh, your manhood is just like you. Like, you would feel a fucking way. You're, you're like, looking at. <laughs> like, yo, it's, you know, like. No, it's a gray area. Threesome, a, threesomes are gray areas. Hell yeah. Like I said, you gotta, you gotta. It's it's dope. It's 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 a good thing if you're not in a relationship with the person. Yeah, yeah. You, know what I'm saying? Yeah, you don't give yeah. a flying, a flying fuck. But when it comes to someone that you care about, you, you you're looking at her eyes, and you you know that. You know that her life is changing in front of you. You you see it. You're like every with every stroke, yo, her life is just changing. <laughs> you're, like, you're like fucking. She got introduced to words. something great. What? Like I was. You know, funny thing is, I was watching something on um <laughs> Facebook today, and it was like when girls get good dick, right? Mm-hmm. So the girl was in bed with the guy, and she woke up. She's like. Ah, like mad happy as shit So mm-hmm. she walks out the house And then uh, while she's walking She gets robbed mm-hmm. And she's like here You can have my bag But she's mad happy Then she get carjacked She's like oh, I don't care yeah. And then she's walking And then I think she get hit by a car Or some shit The bitch is on the floor Like her leg is all fucked up yeah, and, then, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the dog woke up And pissed on her Like and she's still happy Like this shit is mad funny But you know when 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 you get some good stuff in your life, like if that's your woman, like it could really change. Like, cause people know, man, when you get good dick, when you get Listen, good man, sex. Put it like this: There's dudes that's there's dudes that's like straight up bums that get girls because their stroke game is extraordinary. You know what I'm saying? And from the outside looking at you, like, why are you with this lame? Yep. You know, but mm-hmm. in, in retrospect, she's home. Cruising the cosmos in bed, like you know what I'm saying, like mm-hmm. literally sur- silver surfer, like <laughs> you know what I'm saying, like if somebody silver surfer in your girl, son, you better you don't even want it no more. You don't want it no more. You don't want it no more. Like I don't know, man. My, so nah, no threesomes for me and my lady. Like you know what I mean? We could watch porn or whatever like that. Mm-hmm. And you know what though? But I, I knew somebody. Um. Who was in a, 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 a monogamous that, relationship, that, a polygamous uh, relationship? Okay. And polygamous. Yeah. Like two wives. It was, he, yeah, it was, it was you know, him, and he had his girl, and his girl had a girl, and it was sometimes. It's not like polygamous. It's just. They were living together. It's a co co relationship. Cohabitation. Co yeah, because polygamous is more you know the term just being married to two. Well, women. he had the fucking best of both worlds, and he could not handle it. It's a lot. You, it's a lot of work. The dudes be like, we be like, put me in there. Nah, but I'm just saying, you, you just month. give up. Give me one slim, one thick, one light, one dark, one long hair, one short hair, and I'm fucking good. Nah, man, you, 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 you can actually get put into it. Uh, 
There we go. I'm not. I'm not even gonna. Alright, let's hold on. Shit. Uh, okay. So it's like radio caller. You're on the air. Yeah. This is Red. <laughs> this is who? Uh, commenting on your three song. I had a three song. Oh, you did? Yeah. Wait, wait. First of all, where, where you calling from? The Boogie Down Bronx. The Boogie Down Bronx. All right, cool. Go ahead. You yeah. said you had a threesome. Go ahead. And, and it wasn't supposed to be a threesome. The person was supposed to come and watch and make sure the nigga wasn't crazy. And she actually drank in. And she almost got her ass whooped that night. What? Oh, wait, 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 wait. You got to explain this. You got to explain that because you said she wasn't supposed to. Yes. She's, she's supposed to. All right. First and foremost, she's supposed to watch and make sure yeah. he's not crazy. So. Yeah. yeah. Uh, make sure dude didn't go crazy. You know what I'm saying? She was supposed to watch. You and the dude. Like, she's supposed to be yeah, a voyeur. Watching. A voyeur. Just watching. She was supposed to just watching. Okay. It was just something I wanted to do. I was like having a midlife crisis and I wanted. I don't know. I wanted to. Go all out, like to see, not go all out, like we're having a relationship with a female, because I've never been with a female. Okay. But that that was the first night I ever had an encounter with a female, and that shit made me feel some type of way. I thought she was trying to turn me gay. Are you serious? <laughs> mm. Wow. What happened was she was supposed to watch and sit in a chair and watch us watch him perform on me. And instead, she was giving her comments, and I guess she was sexually frustrated, and she never told me that she had an attraction towards me. She didn't want to mess with the guy. She wanted to mess with me. Okay. So after he finished doing what he was doing down there, she jumped in and did it. What? But it was, it was dark. So you didn't, I didn't know who was who. So he, <laughs> she didn't know who was <laughs> Yo. I, I would catch on it to do was up at the top and he's You saw him on my with a cup of Kool Aid at the top of the at the, on the on the left. <laughs> he at the top and, she, and I'm like, well, who the fuck is down at the bottom? So I had her in a chokehold. Oh, so my so, God. so wait, 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 wait. All right, so fat. So you're telling me that when you found out it was her, you 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 clinched up. No, you either clinched yeah, up or you or yeah, you, you, I don't you want her to understand how most women turn gay because they ain't nobody doing that better than a man. I mean, she might be delicate. But that shit, that shit made me so mad for like months. Every day I seen her, I wanted to punch her in her face. Mm-hmm. Like our friendship wound up decreasing. We're not even cool like that no more. Wow. Because I feel like she's straight violated. You feel me? Because wow. I, it would have been different if I was for it. You understand? Mm-hmm. But you were just supposed to sit in that goddamn chair. But it felt like, for me, I was the one that had the threesome because I had both of us. Uh, so, so that's technically uh, not a threesome. I mean, what is it, that? it was an accidental threesome. Yeah, it was an accidental threesome. <laughs> like, because it's not like you was with it and yeah. it went down. Would you, would you, in, so you're saying you would never try a threesome ever? After that, no, yeah. I would never. Uh, unless it's, it, as long as it's not performed on me with another female. Okay, so you basically I would y- you, with if, another male because I don't even know because that shit might sword fight in that. I would think one of them were gay. Okay, but I, I'm I, just I saying, I'm saying you and another girl and your man, like you, 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 you. He says I want to have a threesome with you, and he's like, um, yeah, he would not be able to contact the bitch or not. And, he wouldn't know her her her, her, her for that. <laughs> she said she had contact the bitch. How would you find her though? <laughs> Where at a Craig's list? Yo, that shit is funny so. Guys, because there's chicks in in Brooklyn all over that will come up to a female for her man and ask that. I've I've been approached in butterflies like that. What? On Atlantic Avenue, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. I I know, I know her, yeah. What are you talking about? Well, like girls approach other girls. Girls, you know what I'm saying? for they men. Like for they man. Like if your girl, like your girl wanted a, th- a your, do you wanted a threesome? So the, you wouldn't approach the girl. Your girl would approach a girl and be like, "Yo, me and my man wanted to have a threesome uh, with uh, you." Yeah, oh, exactly. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. 
Oh wow. S M H. Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, yo, th- <laughs> yo, thanks for calling. What's your name again? Red. Red. From Red. the BX. From the BX. Thanks for calling, man. And and, and back on Larry da- Davis, he was the truth. And that happened on Webster Avenue. Yeah, I know. I, 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 five. I rem- yes, at his sister house. Yes, he that- shot all of them officers. Yeah. And there's one where her teeth is still missing when she literally bit the bullet. Yo. That is a great story. That's a story that the police it's not going to be a movie. Get a, it out your the head. police don't want that to happen. Yeah, you, it's just like it's just like when they did um American Gangster. Yeah, they was what? they was on the fence of that because of the fact that um the dude aired out so much crooked cops in New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. man. I mean, and that's talking about with American Gangster was really about Nicky Barnes. Yeah, but yeah. Nicky Barnes wound up being a snitch and changing his face. Yeah, changing oh like changing his whole because he had so much evidence on how even with the feds yeah it was i mean they all ran conclusive with each other that was on the same chain the mm-hmm. same food line mm. wow yeah you know, but nikki barnes and with larry davis that was on the same the same frame they were all concurrent with each other you understand one ran harlem SBNR Gardens, that's and his um Nikki Barnes sister owned the travel agency. All of that shit was all yeah. concurrent. Mm-hmm. They, they, that, that 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 went so way back. I mean, it was there's a lot of shit behind yeah, I that. Wanna, I wanna see a movie for that. I'm pretty sure that they probably tried, but I think somebody can go out and film it like on a low budget low budget um <laughs> level. For the Hughes brothers or wanted them to really investigate that you understand yeah because when that does come out it's going to expose so many people like cops is being exposed now yeah, but it's time but enough it's, it's, it's been it, i think it's been a long a long enough period where we could they could they could um do story a story on that because i remember the, there's a movie about the precinct in brooklyn and and, and um in um in east new york the 71st Okay. Right. And they just released that the other day, but it went straight to like you know to to Netflix. You know, what I'm saying mm-hmm. like it could be a story like that because that that yo East New York the cops you we already know son yeah like, yeah them dudes is crooked. Yeah. Um, I was gonna say that uh with the um just in the just in the Bronx not too long ago they had a situation where the cops were coercing people. To lie on other motherfuckers, beating them up, and you know. Oh, like, that's on the regular. That's on the regular. Yeah. Many times they done brought that to case, like, oh, we were scared to come forward because the police was threatening certain people to be, you know, transported back to their countries just so they can make a case. Yeah. Um, look at the yeah. man that came on um, <laughs> Oprah Winfrey. I believe it was Oprah Winfrey or what's that? Steve Harvey. He was a cop. He just singled out a man that just came out of the store. He fit the description, and he made all his cases. Mm. And um, the black guy um, wound up forgiving him in jail after he did half of his sentence. I mean, it takes a, a, a big man to forgive somebody that lied on you. Nah, it fuck takes that. a bigger yeah. man to sit right next to the same man that lied on you and mm-hmm. took you from your son. The last time you seen your son, he was what? He was just born. You didn't even get to see him. Yeah. When you come home, and he's ten years old. Your son is looking at you crazy. Yeah, it trust me. I know, I know. I know. I know. I I I know firsthand about stuff like that. Honestly, right now. But um, I don't mean to cut you off. We got a lot of other things we got to get to. Thanks for calling up. Um, no problem. And keep it locked, man. Tell people about the show. You know, we looking to um give away some stuff for the new year. I've been following y'all from Brooklyn, so I went to one of y'all parties a couple of years ago. Okay. Oh, wow. Who this is. What's up, Sad? <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's what's up. Long time, long time. All right. Yes. So, uh, all right. Y'all have a good night. All I'll right. Let everybody know. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you. No problem. Good night. Good night.